What's up everyone? It's uh, 4.30 in the morning. We're getting ready to head out. We got a report that um, a tributary is having a lot of jacks running through about 18 inches or so. A uh, really nice fish. Um, so we're gonna go check it out. We got our eggs right here and I got a couple other kinds of eggs and we're gonna see what we can do. You gotta start out the morning right here, the Red Bull. Quickly stopping to grab some gas and then we're gonna be at the fishing spot. Oh. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the hook through the skein a couple times, wrap it around, and then what we'll do is go ahead and look, let out the loop for the egg loop knot, and we'll go ahead and cinch it tight on the eggs, and then we'll go ahead and cast out here and see if we can get another salmon. This guy to my left is absolutely killing it. Ended up getting a lemon in about 20 minutes. I was quite surprised. I did just end up getting another jack, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it on the stringer and get her in the water. Ended up getting three beautiful jack coho. All right, I'm getting it filleted up right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the fillets look like, and then let's go ahead and get it on the smoker, and let's start our catch and cook. All righty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our fillets here, and we're gonna get our McCormick, this is the brown sugar, and we're gonna get the mesquite. You're gonna need some fresh garlic and one lemon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fillets first. We're gonna put them over here, and this is a pan. This is gonna go on the smoker. We're gonna go ahead and get out our Gerber knife, take our lemon, go ahead and slice it in half. Slice it into a couple pieces here. Set that off to the side, we'll get back to that. First of all, we're gonna take our brown sugar. We're gonna go ahead and put a generous amount on the fish. Then you're going to grab the mesquite, another generous amount of that on there. Then you're going to take a little bit of lemon, squeeze it on top, just like that. And what you're going to want to do, come over here, grab your garlic, take off a nice clove. Give it one of those bad boys. Put it in your garlic smasher. Get it all in there. Grab a couple more. So this is what we're doing right here is we're making a sauce that we're gonna put on the smoked salmon as it smokes. So you go ahead and smash those bad boys down. Get all this stuff off. Get all of the garlic in there. Smash it all down. Uh, just like that. So you're making like a paste here. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your lemon, squeeze it on in there, just like that. My son's having a blast in the background. <laughs> Man, I gotta say that this Gerber knife here works quite well. Once you get all the 
lemon squeezed in there. Just like that. You're gonna go ahead and grab a spoon. You can see there, really get it all mixed up. Here's what you're gonna be doing later on. You're gonna be putting this on top of the fillets. All right, let's get to the smoker. So what we're, we're gonna do is go ahead and fill up the auger with our apple wood pellets. We're gonna go ahead and get our smoker to 220 degrees and let it smoke out. And then we're gonna put on the fish. So this is when the fish has been on here for about 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and lift the lid here and grab our garlic sauce. And we're gonna go ahead and drizzle it on top. Make sure you spread out the garlic throughout all the fillets. Uh, we added an extra fish on there so then we could have a little bit more because I have a couple of people over that wanted to give it a try. So we're spreading it out across all of the fish and then afterwards you're gonna go ahead and put the juice on here and then we're gonna go ahead and check on it and see how it's doing. This is about an hour within. Once it's done, you go ahead and pull it off and you go ahead and make yourself a nice, beautiful salad with it.